Hi everyone, so this is the first bit uh, of the second lesson of partial fractions. And this one's quite important now because of this here. This is a repeated linear factor. And if I just zip back to the second page and the first page inside it, there, it's this idea here that I've got to deal with. Look, the x minus 2 has vanished. Uh, someone's gone that a bit random. Look at that. I've still got my x minus 2 there, but the x minus 2 has vanished from this bit here. So I've got to think, because it could be a factor inside it. So I've got to be careful with this one now. So I'm going to have my 4x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1, x minus 2 squared. It's going to give me an a over x plus 1, which hopefully I'm happy with. But this, I've got to think of it, it could have had an x minus 2 that's disappeared inside it. So I need a b over x minus 2, and then, get out of it, and then a c over x minus 2 squared. So it's this bit that I've got to be really, really careful of, this b bit here. Can't stress it enough. Then it's because it fits inside it, so you've got to be really, really careful. Right, so same idea. If I multiply through by the common denominator, so I've got an x plus 1, I'm missing an x minus 2 squared. Be careful with the middle one here, the b one, because it fits inside it. I've got an x minus 2. If you look at the common denominator, the common denominator is x plus 1, x minus 2, times x minus 2. So b was missing the x plus 1 and the x minus 2. Please be ridiculously careful with that. And then for C, I've got the x minus 2. If you compare it, I'm missing the x plus 1. Right, so, quick double check. I've got x minus 2 is 0, so x is 2. I've got an x plus 1 is 0. I've got x is minus 1. I've got an issue here, though, because I've got 2. Oh, everything's slowing down. Two numbers, but three unknowns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use x is zero as well. You can use any number you want, but you'd be pretty daft using x is 1,736. Might as well go with x is zero. Right, so let's have a look then. So x is two. So I've got 4 lots of 2 squared minus 3 lots of 2 plus 2. It's early on a Wednesday morning. Can I do that in my head? So that's going to be 16, 6, uh, 10, 12 maybe? Is it going to be 12? That's the question. I'm going to double check it just in case it's 12. Now, I'm putting x is 2 in. So x is 2 is going to get rid of a because it'll be 2 minus 2 is 0. And it'll get rid of B, the second bracket in B. So I'm left with just C. So that'll be a 2 plus 1. So that's 3C. 4 is C. Uh, how much room have we got? Yeah, I've not got a lot of room, have we, for this? All right, let me try and squeeze this in there. So I'm going to try X is minus 1. Oh, I didn't think this through, did I really? I've got room here at all. All right. So I've got four lots of minus one squared minus three lots of minus one plus two. So that's going to be four plus three is seven plus two is nine. Right, so if I put the x's minus one in, it gets rid of the first bracket of b, so b goes, it gets rid of c. So they're equal to zero, so I've just got a. So that's minus one minus two all squared. So that's minus three squared. Is 9. So A is 1. Right. So it says here use X is 0, but I'm also going to use 
the ones that have worked out. Right, let's have a go then. So for x is 0, I've got 4 lots of 0 squared minus 3 lots of 0 plus 2. So that's a 2. A is 1, I've got 0 minus 2 all squared. So that's going to be a minus 2 squared. And then for B, which I don't know, it'll be 0 plus 1 is 1, and 0 minus 2 is minus 2. And then for C, I know that C is 4, then I've got 0 plus 1 is 1. So it gives me 2 is equal to, so I've got 4, I've got 2, so that's going to be 6 minus 2b. Do some rearranging, I've got minus 4 is minus 2b, uh, so I get, hang on, where have I gone wrong here? I put the right one here. Where have I gone wrong? Uh, A is 1, isn't it? Ooh, it's a mistake here. Why is that 4a then? Because it's squared, you donkey. So 2 squared, so that's going to be a 4. A 4 is an 8. Take that, oh, that's going to be an 8 then. Sorry, everyone. So that's going to make it minus 6. That's going to give me a 3 for me. And I've got my numbers. You've got much more room than me <laughs> uh, because I wasn't really paying much attention to how much space I had. So you're going to get like a final answer of 1 over x plus 1, uh, 3 over x minus 2, and 4 over x minus 2 squared. There. So I hope that makes sense. Sorry I took a bit of too much room, really. A bit carried away explaining it all. There. There's one for you to have a go at here. So please have a go at that one. There. And that's the end of that video.